Hey guys, so I'm so happy to pronounce or announce that I got my Jeffree Star Holiday Collection for Christmas. Woot, woot, woo. So obviously most of you guys know what the packaging looks like and if you don't, you need to get on social media somewhere. It is a very pretty glittery pink package. Um, one thing I very do like about these packages is that if you look at the glitter, the um, it doesn't come off. Like my fingers aren't glittery. Um, but yeah. So this video is obviously going to be my Jeffree Star holiday collection lip swatching video. I think my lips have gone through so much in the past month and they probably hate me but too bad because we're doing this video. I'm so excited. Hope you guys are excited and let's get on with the video. Okay so the first video I'm going <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a blooper reel. So the first color we are going to swatch on the lips is Christmas cookie. So this is Christmas cookie on the lips. Christmas cookie is a pinkish nude. Um, I feel like it's just a little bit darker than butt naked because butt naked was in his summer holiday summer collection that's butt naked. Um, it was in his summer collection from this year, but, I don't know, I feel like this is just a more pink version, a little bit of a darker version as well, but it's still a super pretty color. Um, this is a color I definitely would see a lot of people wearing and a lot of different skin tones rocking it. Um, it feels so nice on the lips, like a lot of his lipsticks I find when they get I don't know how to explain this. When they dry for me, I have very, like, wrinkly lips. But these ones kind of just feel nice, and I like it. So, yeah. Christmas. Cookie. Okay, so the next color we're going to swatch is Human Nature. Like, this color is so pretty. It is a... It's kind of hard to see because of the glitter in the package, but it is a very purpley nude brown color. I don't know how to explain colors, I'm sorry. Um, but I very much like the look of this color. I actually wore it earlier today for a good 20 minutes because with the eye look I had on earlier, it did not really go well, but definitely will go really well with a lot of nude looks and like a lot of like crazy looks too. So let's get swatches so this is human nature so human nature reminds me of a very more i feel like of a more plummy version of delicious from his family collection oh no i really like this color like the eye look i have on now is the one i had on earlier but i just don't see it going well with the gold in my eye look because it's a gold inner corner and then like brown smoke out on the edges but I really like this color like if I was to go like this this skin tone and the color I really like it yeah but I really like human nature so yeah human nature Santa baby now hurry down the chimney tonight you guessed it now we're swatching Santa baby I actually love this color I've worn it twice I wore it all day today before this video and I wore it all during my Christmas party. So that video of me wishing you all a very Merry Christmas, that was Santa Baby. So let's re swatch it in case you didn't see that video. I apologize for the poor application, but this is Santa Baby. Santa Baby is my favorite color. I actually really like Santa Baby. What I would do is I'll take a little bit of my Tarte 12 hour highlighter. I don't know what color it is because I was an idiot when I bought it. And I hadn't really been into makeup a lot when I bought it. And I ripped the seal on the back off. But I like to place this just in the cupid's bow. 
um, and it makes it very pretty. I actually wore this all over on top of the lip today. So usually what I do is I'll apply it here. Oh, wow, that was not evenly applied. Okay. I usually wear it right on the cupid's bow. It just gives this little bit of a dip more look. And I don't know, I just really like this color. Our next so. shade is Berries on Ice. This is a more purple tone um, color. It's almost like Santa Baby, but I think this one is more purple and Santa Baby is more red. I've never swatched these. Actually, a lot of these I have not worn. Like the only two, three I've tried is Santa Baby, um, Christmas Cookie, and Human Nature before this video. But I plan on trying all eight of them in this video. So we're going to see what colors I like, which ones are a little bit too off for my skin tone, stuff like that. Um, sorry for the recap, but, uh, yeah. Berries on ice. So this is Santa Baby. Or, no, this is <laughs> Berries on Ice. I'm sorry, guys. I've had a long week out with my family, with my dad for Christmas and enjoying the sadly cold weather. But this is Berries on Ice. It's, um, like I said, it's more purple. It's definitely more purple. It actually really hardcore reminds me of this shade when it's applied. Um, we're gonna do a swat side by side comparison and see. So this one is You Better Work from the Summer Collection and this is Berries on Ice. They are different. Um, Berries on Ice is more of a more pinky version definitely a more pink version but still very close to the same color i like them both they are both very pretty colors but pretty close so yeah this is berries on ice um i like it i don't hate it still very drying like you better work was and then we're going to come back after I remove this and see how staining it is. Because Santa Baby was pretty staining. Okay, so not too bad. Definitely did stain a little bit. My lips are definitely more pink. I did reapply foundation and then my blush decks that I always apply before I do these videos for you. Just so that my lips don't hurt as much after. I don't usually apply blush sticks when I'm actually putting on the lipstick myself. I will do it sometimes if my lips are very dry and then it gives them more volume and gives them like a nicer look. But mainly I use lip scrub for that kind of stuff. But during these videos I use blush sticks just so my lips don't hurt more. But on to the next color. We are now doing Point Setta. Point Setta is a metallic red. I apologize because these colors are not the greatest thing on me, but we'll try. Okay, so worst application of my life. We're gonna note that. I don't know. It's very, it's more red in person for sure. And on camera, it probably looks very pink to you guys. Can we like fix this lighting situation? Does it look red now? I feel like Ronald McDonald because I applied this so badly and you like, you see that like right there? That lip. Ugh. Um, it's very pretty actually. I do like it. It's just I suck at applicating apparently after I do a couple of lips. So I actually like this color. It's not too red. I think if I was to apply another layer, it would get very red. But yeah, so this is Point Setta. I'd like to note that Point Setas are one of my like one of the prettiest flowers. I can't have them personally in my house because we have cats, but that's not my choice. So the next color, we are now into the three craziest shades. Can't believe we've already done five shades in the little amount of time that I've actually been sitting here. So obviously I'm super excited for the shade. I don't even want to show it right away. So this is an iconic shade that has never been created by anyone. I don't think, oh, nope, lies. Fenty did it. No, lies. Oh my god, I'm confusing my makeup so badly right now. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if anyone else has ever created a lipstick like this, but I can tell you this one is my favorite, if they ever did, because this is first class. So 
this is first class first class is a gold lipstick it might look a little bit of a pinky tone right now on me because my lips are stained but it is gold it is it is gold like gold okay but yeah first class the second final shade oh how sad it is to hear that is mermaid blood so mermaid blood is actually a color that he secretly like showed us before any other shade came out about a week or two before he posted on his instagram that this shade was going to be in his christmas holiday collection and who am i happy for it so this is mermaid blood once again i'm sorry for the poor application <laughs> but this is mermaid blood a beautiful bluish turquoise color mm, i love it personally i'd probably just wear it for videos and like cool fun things or halloween but who is it pretty so now we're gonna move on to the final shade oh how it pains me to say that but it must be done so the final color is medusa Medusa is a very grayish tone color, and because it's the final color, I am going to put it on as I videotape instead of stopping and restarting. So, let's do this. Oh god, yes, please. Oh, so pretty. I do dip in twice during these colors. I think or any of his colors usually because dipping in once doesn't give you that full opaqueness I find. You get technically like you make it swap splotchy. You make it streaky. My eyeball is watering. Did y'all see that? Okay. He's trying to mess up our video. So this is Medusa. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a bluish gray color. It's gorgeous. Um, we're going to do one more side-by-side -side comparison to this and Abused because they do seem, Abused seems just a little bit darker. But yeah, let's get to that side-by-side -side comparison. So these are Abused and Medusa, so this is Medusa and this is Abused. Abused is definitely more blue and Medusa is definitely more gray, but they definitely are close. Another similarity, but they're similar. They're not the same. I'd like to note that they're not the same. So if you think because you own one, you technically own the other, you are technically wrong. <laughs> and I'm not saying, oh, because you don't own it, go buy it. Well. I technically am. This is, these are pretty shades. Like, I'm sorry, but it's gray. It's a gray lipstick. There's a NYX gray lipstick, and you know how streaky and uncomfortable that lipstick is? I'm sorry, NYX, but jeez. I've worn it. It was horrible. My sister gave it to me. I didn't like it. I threw it away as soon as I tried it. I was like, get out of my makeup vanity. You don't need to be here. Um, but yeah, so that actually includes our video, guys. So we're gonna get to our final thoughts in a second. So guys, that's the end of this review. Personally, always love Jeffrey. The formula was bomb. The colors are bomb, like come on. Gray, turquoise, and gold were in these collections. Like just in this collection alone. Like he also has lime greens, purples, <laughs> pinks like he has the whole color spectrum in lipsticks and I myself am very happy to say that I am a hardcore supporter of Jeffrey like I support everything he does he works so hard to he has worked so hard to get where he is and what he has and everybody can be a hater and say oh no he's just slapping things together oh there was one of my friends actually commented they said Jeffrey doesn't work on these colors. He has a lab work on these colors. I'm like, 
Except Jeffrey goes in and picks what colors. Jeffrey goes in and makes sure that the formula is good enough for his buyers. He makes sure that everything that is coming out of that factory is standard quality. Yes, he had one mishap with highlighters. Oh my lord. Not to mention, you can't blame Jeffrey if you get a broken product, sweetie. I'm sorry, but he is not the... He is not somebody who wants to give you those bad products. He wants to give you top-notch, high-end products for the price that he is charging. He wants to make sure you're getting what you want and what you deserve. And I don't think people should judge him for who he is. But back onto the lipsticks. Sorry for the rant. I love them. This one, personally, is a little bit sticky. Like, a little bit sticky. But maybe that's just because it's not fully dry yet. Or I applied too much. I don't know. I personally do not know. But I can personally say I love all of the shades. And some people tell me, like, they're like, when are you going to wear those? I'm like, I don't know. I'll find a way. But it's 20, it's almost 2018, guys. Um, this is probably going to be my last video of the year. That makes me sad too, because 2017 was a pretty good year. I started this channel with you guys, I'm building the Cat Crew fam, and you know what? I just had a really good year. I got some toxic people out of my life, I got some new great friends that I will always cherish having. I just, I'm excited for 2018, but I'm gonna miss 2017. And I hope you guys all come into 2018 with me and stay with me for years to come because I don't want to leave you guys. Like, you're my family. But there will definitely be a video. Well, this will probably be my last video where I sit down and, like, swatch something or do something makeup-wise or anything that involves this channel-wise. But you guys will definitely have a video on New Year's of me Wishing you all a happy new year's because I did it for Christmas. Come on. We're all going to watch that ball drop. Um, maybe I'll do a live. That would be a good idea. Do a live to make sure that we're all together when it happens. But it this part of the video is almost four minutes long. So yeah, I love these lipsticks. I love the colors. I love the formula. And I love you guys. So I'll see you next time in the next video i hope you guys love this video as much as i love these lipsticks and love ya